This is an introduction to SNAP. SNAP is a programming language developed at the University of California at Berkeley. It uh, opens to a default screen that has some commands on the left side, a, a place for scripts in the middle where the commands can be stacked up, and a stage on the right that by default includes a triangular sprite known as a turtle. If I click move, the turtle moves forward 10 steps. If I change this to 100, then the turtle will move 100 steps each time. When the turtle goes off the screen, you can make it come back to the center by using the go to xy command. I could bring this over into the script area, but the commands also work if you just click in the uh, command palette on the left side. So now I'm going to add another command. I'm going to turn the turtle. And if I like, I can shift that to 90 degrees so it, it shifts at 90 degree increments. Uh, I can also see where the turtle is traveling by using the pin down command. So I'm going to stack these two commands together. And if I click that four times, it makes a square. The clear command clears the screen. So now if I like, I can duplicate the commands by right clicking. Now I can make a square with a single click. However, there's an even more efficient way to make a square. I can use the repeat control block, which is yellow. You'll note that the control blocks are yellow and the motion commands are blue. And then if I move this in to the control block and tell it to repeat four times, I can make a square with a single click, like that. Now that I know the commands work, I can go back over to the motion commands and I can make a motion block that will draw a single, single square just by typing the word square, uh, clicking the word square. So I'm going to make a new block and it's going to be a command block. And then I just drag in the commands that I already know that work. The square block that I've just created appears on the right side. So if I clear the screen, I can click square and it makes a square. This is one of the most powerful features of, of uh, Snap. It uh, allows you to make up your own commands formed out of other blocks. Now, I'm going to build on this uh, series of commands that I've developed and turn the turtle just a little, about 10 degrees after each square. If I then repeat that 36 times, it makes a design on the screen. So I'll just drag the turtle out of the way. You can see that design. We're going to go back over and modify the square procedure that we've just developed and add another uh, function that allows us to change the size of the square. So I'll create a variable called size and drag the variable down. In place of move 100 steps, it will say move however many steps I supply as the input to the command. So now a little block appears and I can type 75 or whatever I want. Drag this back into the center and now it makes a uh, pattern that is a little smaller. Now let's try it. And it makes a tiny a tiny pattern. There are lots of other things you can do with um, with Snap. 
you can change the look and feel of the turtle by switching it to, uh, to different costumes. You can play sounds. You can change the color of the pen so that you can draw in color. You can check to see if the space bar is pressed or you can check, uh, you can get uh, input from the microphone and record sounds. There are operators so that if I want to pick a number between, say, 1 and 6 to simulate the roll of a die of, of dice, it'll generate randomly a number between 1 and 6. Or if I want to find out the square root of something, let's say, uh, what's the square root of 400? And it turns out to be 20, but how about 1173? I wouldn't have guessed this one right off the bat. Turns out to be about 34. And finally, something that will go into greater depth in later modules, uh, variables uh, let you vary things uh, so that you can make general purpose procedures. And um, we'll be learning about more about it in the modules that follow.